Hey everyone, welcome back. And in this video, let's talk about something interesting which we are also using on CodeDAM now, that is sending emails with React. Now I'm gonna go through what exactly this means, why emails are extremely hard to send and all that good stuff about in this video. So let's take a look at from starting to end, what is this problem and how does this particular solution solves it? If you're new here, make sure you leave a like, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. This is free of cost and helps the channel grow. So let's talk about emails for a second before we get into this particular thing. Emails are notoriously hard to create. I mean, interactive emails. You see that HTML, CSS, all of these standards have moved a lot. With CSS, we have Flexbox, Grid, we have a lot of new selectors and a lot of ways to customize the layouts. But when you send an email, you send an email to certain providers, right? You send an email to Gmail, you send an email to Outlook, you might even send an email to someone custom, you know, just some Someone who's doing setting up a custom email server. So what happens is that all of these email providers implement in a way a different standard of parsing the contents of email and displaying it. As long as it is a plain text email, it's relatively simple. You just write the email, include some line breaks and that's it. You just send it. It's going to appear as a plain text email. But the moment you start sending HTML emails and interactive emails, things get ugly because HTML emails, especially in these email providers, HTML engine is way, way old. So you see, there are a few pointers why email clients like Outlook and Gmail are still very behind, very lagging in terms of compared to current web standards. Their security model is different. All of these email clients ship with some sort of way of rendering the engine and that's it. That once they have created that particular engine, they have shipped it inside of that email rendering system. They would not update it, unlike browsers where there's a particular standard browsers regularly update and so on so this is a problem which corporates are not willing to fix that means we as developers have to fall back to systems which are you know compiled in nature that is it provides a better developer experience for coding but at the same time it works just like modern javascript because if in modern javascript you want to use a particular syntax you write it and then run a transpiler like babel and compile it down to a javascript syntax which is actually supported so again this is a problem with e emails, but there is a solution which I found out recently known as mailing.run. This mailing.run is actually built on top of another solution, which is MJML. It's probably, it probably stands for MailJet markup language because MailJet actually created this framework, but mailing.run is built on top of this. Now MJML also ships something known as MJML React. Now there are three things here at play. The first thing is mailing, which is built on top of MJML React. The second thing is this MJML React itself, which is built on top of MJML itself, right? And the main magic, the thing, the compiler or everything, anything you want to call it, is the MJML framework, right? This is the framework which allows you to write very simple code like you would write HTML, like creating sections and columns and so on. And this would render it into the ugly table format and all sorts of verbose HTML syntax which is required, right? So you get the best of both worlds. You get the best developer experience as well as you get, you know, emails which actually display properly in all email clients. Well, most of the email clients. So you see MJML React is actually built on top of MJML by Wix as a company they have not decided to continue maintaining this project, but that does not mean that this is useless. This project MJML React still is, I think is complete and works fine. But what MJML React actually is, it's, it's a React binding for this framework. Right here, you can see that it's using custom HTML over here, but this will not work inside of React, right? So inside of React or inside of even JSX, you would need proper support for, you know, components and props being passed and camel case props and all that stuff. So there is this project which builds on top of that and compiles it down to MJML. This is what I was trying to say. For example, this is the syntax which a traditional HTML document might look like, but this is what your React or MJML React would look like. Now mailing.run, what it does is that it builds on top of this whole framework. How? If you take a look at this demo, you're going to see that whatever components you write, this particular component is actually written in React itself, right? Just like something like this. This gets rendered inside of a web view or inside of a preview thing. And you can quickly take a look at how your emails would look inside of mobile or inside of desktop. And this is the generated code. This is the uglyfied, minified, whatever code, which your email client would receive. And they would render it properly because 
well that is this whole syntax is all about so yeah it, it can also act as a way to just organize all of your emails inside of your organization and we are using currently mjml react at codedam as well built on top of mailing.run preview system which just works on the developer or you know the local front so very soon on codedam whenever you are trying to receive some emails whether that is automated or transactional they would be delivered with mjml react and through this mailing framework so you see it's it's nonetheless it's a nice way of organizing the emails themselves. In fact, this mailing.run is a full stack email framework in a way because it allows you to also not only just preview the emails, but also set up testing with Jest. So it's, it's that is also something which you might want to do that, that you just clear a test email queue, queue some emails and check if the emails are delivered properly or not. So that is awesome. Like you can also have integration and unit test for sending emails. Mailing.run is this preview over here is built on top of Next.js, but that does not mean that your own project has to be in Next.js. It could be in any framework, any language, and this can just sit as a, you know, a small internal project, which is just a preview of everything else. For example, at this point, we use mailing.run inside of our backend repository. We use ES build to build the system, build the backend repo and compose everything together but mailing.run this preview system still works on next.js on our backend repo right so that is this is flexible this implementation is flexible and i am really i'm really liking how this is coming along so yeah i just wanted to make this quick video on all of you who are trying to set up emails on your server but also want to keep your sanity that is you can use react to send emails like this using mailjet markup language mjml react and built on top of mailing it provides a very nice experience in terms of developing the emails themselves developing and managing all the emails so that is all for this one hopefully you learned something new something interesting in this video if you did make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel that is all for this video i'm gonna see you in the next one really soon if you're still watching this video make sure you comment down in the comment section i watched this video till the end also if you're not part of code Dump's discord community you're missing out a lot on events which we organize on a weekly basis to code you already know the drill make sure you like the video subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and thank you so much for watching